Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is a instructions how to install the Xdebugger with Eclipse PDT ID, uh, one of the more popular IDs, primarily because it has a lot of features and as well it is free. It has as many features as a lot of the uh, paid uh, IDs out there. One of the downsides of Eclipse is that it has a somewhat a steep learning curve. Okay, first you have to start WAMP server or XAMPP or whatever PHP stack you're using. In this tutorial, I will not show you how to install that because there are many tutorials out there that show you how to do that. First of all, you have to put it online. Mine is already online. Then you have to start all services. Then select localhost. If you have your uh, PHP stack properly installed, you're going to see this page. Next, PHP info. And here it'll take you to your PHP info function. You could also create this, uh, create the PHP info function, put it into a text file or a PHP file, upload it to your web root, and then uh, load the page that way. But this is easy, much easier. So primarily you want to know your PHP version and you want to know where your loaded configuration file is otherwise in other words your php.ini file where it's loaded and in this case it's in my case it's a dwamp bin apache apache 2.2 bin and, and so forth okay so that's very important your loaded configuration file your php version okay so what we're going to do is we're going to leave that on open we go back to uh, Eclipse for now. And now you can head over to the xdebug.org. And just go over there. xdebug.org. You can see the URL there. And you can then download uh, the xdebugger. Now, what you want to do is you want to grab the VC6. You don't want to grab the VC9 because the VC9 is for IIS service, for Microsoft service, and not for PHP Linux stacks. So, uh, for whichever version of PHP you have, you want to grab that, or whichever bit, bit operating system you have. Or, you can simply do here, I already gave you the URLs. For example, if you have if, uh, PHP 5.2, then you can uh, pause this video and then uh, type in that URL and download it. Or if you're using PHP 5.3, and you can uh, download that uh, that debugger. Now, once you download it, um, rename it. Get rid of all those numbers and stuff on the back. Okay, after you've done that, uh, you want to modify your php.ini um, file. Okay. How you can do that is uh, there are two different ways, depending again which type of PHP you're running. If you're running 5.2.9, is what I'm running, that's what we've seen earlier in the, in the PHP info uh, function page, uh, you would type this line into your, uh, into your um, uh, PHP INI file. If you're using WAMP server, it's very easy. You just go again and here, and then you can select, and then you can just pull the PHP and I file directly up. Otherwise, you'll have to uh, go back to your PHP info page and then find the path where your php.ini file is, and then go and search for it on your on your drive. But the, okay, so and it's uh, and it's very important that you find the one that's loaded because sometimes you'll have. Um, you sometimes you'll have a numerous copies of php.ini on, on, on your drive. Okay, what I've done is basically found the, because I've already installed this, right? I just, what I did is copy this to the end of my php.ini file. So that line, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to put this, that instruction page this instruction page on my website so you can just work your way through it and it's easier than to get it out of a video sometimes 
Okay, so basically this is what I've done, and I've created this section here in my PHP INI file, right? And I have, of course, okay, I've done that, and then, obviously, the, the most obvious step is that you're going to have to place the PHP that PHP debug the DLL file in that folder, right? That's very important because it'll go looking for it there. And if it's not there, so that'll be the file here that you renamed, right? The one you downloaded and renamed, you're going to want to put it into that folder, right? So the folder that you specified here. And that's depending on which version of PHP you're using. And it's all here in that instruction file. You can pause the video, look at it, and try to figure it out if I'm going too fast or it's a bit complicated. But primarily, you just put this in your PHP INI file, depending on which version of PHP you're using and where you are going to put your php.xdebug.tll file. Okay. Yeah, that's what it says here. Put the PHP. Uh, xdebug in the PHP folder, very important. Now obviously, uh, don't uh, hear I, it's some tutorials out there are going to tell you to put it in the ext folder. I wouldn't do that. I've tried that and it didn't work and stuff like that. Uh, I would put it exactly in your PHP folder, in your PHP version folder and not in the ext folder because it's for some reason it doesn't work properly and it'll save you a lot of headache and a lot of yelling and getting mad okay most important of all is this after you've done that once you have edited your php.ini file and then saved it of course saved it and then you'll have to restart all your services so here you'll have to go and restart your PHP uh, Apache web server again. Otherwise, that new copy of the PHP that INI file will not be loaded into the memory, and your Apache web server cannot use it. And then it'll be a sort of a circular problem where you'll be looking for a, a solution and you won't find it. Uh, okay, the most next most important part is let's go back to our because uh, we already opened it is this page again back to the PHP info page now you're going to have to see this line if you don't see that line on this page don't go any further keep working or doing something read through my instructions very carefully try to download different versions do whatever you have to do if you don't get that in there nothing from this point on will work so you're going to have to get that working first. You're going to, the PHP info or your Apache web server has to recognize Xdebug. Okay, that's just I thought I'd leave that with you. Okay, now we're going to proceed to uh, part two, uh, where you want to uh, start uh, working with the Eclipse, set up Eclipse to use the Xdebugger. Uh, first of all, create a test PHP project. This is I've already set this up. So here you go, new PHP project. Give it a name and any kind of name, and then you hit finish, and that'd be it. And then once you've done that, you could just uh, right-click in the new project and create a new uh, PHP file and uh, so forth. Name it. Put some PHP code into it so that you can test the debugger on it so that's just whatever you want to uh, work on okay now next step is to set up uh, eclipse okay we're going to go to window preferences mm, select php and we're going to go to debug okay so that was Windows Preferences Debug. Now, first of all, you're going to have to make sure that uh, the xDebug is the one selected. And that's about it, as far as I know. Default web server, that stays the same, PHP executable. And you just hit Apply. And uh, you don't have to do anything here with any of this. Configure, uh, uh, yeah, in case, in case 